sound of the Ammophila sand wasp buzzing in the hole, digging out the sand, throwing it aside, creating a space for her youngsters to live. She will plug the hole with lumps of sand and stones, hide it away, disguising it from anybody who might try to steal it. Breaking the edges of the hole away so she can then throw more sand in and disguise it completely. The next day she is back with a caterpillar. It looks as though this one has been attacked, probably by a cuckoo, which thrashed the caterpillars about to break them up. She will drag it down the burrow, lay an egg on it, and then she will come out and start filling the hole again. Just as she does when digging the hole, the sand wasp will vibrate her wing muscles again, drilling into the sand, breaking it up, making sure that it's bedded in and that there are no air gaps or little nooks and crannies where anything might sneak in. It's not uncommon for another sand wasp to come along and steal her burrow, lay their own egg on top of that caterpillar so she will do whatever is necessary to keep it well hidden. The sand wasp can lift ten times her own weight, and even such large rocks as this well, in relation to her anyway, are no match at all. She will rotate screwing them into the ground and vibrating at the same time just to try and make sure it is bedded in fully. A final disguise with bits of grass, twigs, moss, anything that will hide the fact that a hole was ever dug. Hopefully nobody will find her hole and her offspring will fascinate us next year. <laughs>